weight and mass. We know from the Newton's laws and Galileo's observations and uh, Newton's uh, gravitational theory that Earth attracts every object with a certain force. So that certain force we call it as gravitational force. And that gravitational force for a falling body is given as mass into acceleration due to gravity. Since we know force is m into acceleration. m is the mass of the body, g is the acceleration due to gravity and force is the gravitational force with which the earth attracts the objects. Now, even the object is experiencing a certain force because of the earth's attraction. So, the force of an attraction of the earth on the object is called as weight of the object. So, how do we define weight of the object? This is the force of attraction of the earth on the object. So, weight is to do with the object and gravitational force is to do with the earth. The force of attraction of the earth on an object is called weight. Now, when we see from F, so the weight is nothing but, weight is represented as W. W is mass into acceleration due to gravity. So, the units for weight are newtons or represented as n and it is a vector quantity because it depends on acceleration due to gravity and which has both magnitude and direction. So, it is a vector and it acts vertically downwards because the acceleration due to gravity acts vertically downwards and the force of attraction from the earth on the object acts vertically downward. So, these are the characteristics of the weight. And we also know that the g is a constant at a given place. Why at a given place? Because we have seen in the earlier chapters that g varies from planet to planet and g varies from place to place on the earth too. Whereas, mass of an object is constant everywhere. Whether you take mass of an object on the earth or any place on the earth or on the moon, mass of the object does not change. What changes is weight of the object. Why it changes? Because of the acceleration due to gravity change. Hence, we can conclude that weight depends on its location. Why? G depends on its location. So, let us see for 1 kg of a mass, what is the weight? If mass is 1 kg on earth and G on earth is 9.8 meter per second square, on the surface of the earth and weight would be ma m into g which is 1 into 9.8 which is 9.8 newtons. So, the weight of 1 kg mass on earth is 9.8 newtons. That is the difference between weight and mass. Mass is 1 kg whereas weight is 9.8 newtons. And also, since we said G depends on location and weight depends on location. So, at the center of earth, what is G? We have seen that G is 0. So, what will weight be? Irrespective of what is the mass of the body, weight is 0. Let us measure the weight using a spring balance. This is a spring balance. 
which is having a spring inside and an object of certain mass is being hung to this spring balance. Now what happens? The spring extends. So when the spring extends, so the extension of the spring gives you the measurement for the weight. So if you see these pointers, so the spring extends when the object is tight and the extension of the spring up to this pointer. So that gives rise to the weight of the object. So let's explain an object of mass m is tied to the spring balance and the spring balance goes down. Why? The spring gets extended here and we can see how much the spring got extended with the measurements scaled on it. So extension of the spring depends on what now? It depends on the force that pulls it down by the earth. So we know that the force of earth which is nothing but gravitational force pulls down the spring. What happens when it pulls down the spring? Therefore spring extends. So the extension of the spring can be measured. Very simple experiment which tells how weight can be measured. So gravitational force acting on an object operates the spring balance, not its mass. So we understand that the gravitational force acts on this, which is acting on the object, operates the spring balance. And that is how the spring extends, not the mass of the object. So in the absence of gravitational force, what happens? There won't be any extension of the spring. So we conclude that the gravitational force acting on an object operates the spring balance, not the mass. Having understood the concept of weight, how it is related to the gravitational force, let us see what is the weight of an object on the moon. Till now we have seen weight of an object on the earth. Now we will see weight of an object on the moon. Remember that the mass of the object is the same whether it is on earth or on the moon. So let us take mass of the object on the moon to be m. Remember that we are talking on the moon and weight which is represented as w of an object on the moon is w m. And radius of the moon, why do we need all this data? To calculate the force of attraction by moon on the object from the universal law of gravitation, we know the relationship between radius and the gravitational force. We also need one more which is the mass of the moon. We will see why we have got all these parameters. Because the gravitational force or the weight of an object on the moon, Wm is mass into the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. Now, we know the mass and the acceleration due to gravity is given as from the universal law of gravitation, g into mass of the moon by radius of the moon square. This is g on the moon. 
having known so we can get weight of the object on the moon which is having a mass of small m is g into mass of the moon into mass of an object radius of the moon square substituting the values that we know where g is universal gravitational constant which is given as 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square kg minus 2 and the values of mass of the moon and radius of moon or a given data so if you want to compare now weight of an object on the moon which has a mass of m with weight of the same mass m on earth is g into mass of the earth into same mass of an object by square of radius of an earth so now we have two equations one talks of weight of an object on the moon the other talks of weight of an object on the earth let us compare these two with the known values of mass of the moon mass of earth radius of moon and radius of earth so let us see the data for the celestial objects earth and moon and mass and radius so mass of earth is 5.98 into 10 to the power 24 mass of the moon is 7.36 into 10 to the power 22 radius of earth is 6.37 into 10 to the power 6 and radius of moon is 1.74 into 10 to the power 6 so we'll see what is the weight on the moon weight of the moon is g into mass of the moon 7.36 in 10 to the power 22 into yeah divided by radius of the moon square 1.74 whole square into 10 to the power 6 whole square which will give rise to a value of 2.431 into 10 to the power 10 g there is mass here g into this is the mass of the object now what is the weight of the earth weight of that object on earth is capital g into mass of the earth 5.98 into 10 to the power 24 divided by r square r is 6.37 whole square to 10 to the power 6 whole square into the mass of the object is same in both cases on cancellation this will lead to 1.474 into 10 to the power 11 g into m so on dividing these two 1 divided by 2 we get w on the moon by w on the earth is equal to 2.431 into 10 to the power 10 g into m divided by 1.474 10 to the power 11 g into m on dividing g and m g and m being constants they get cancelled and we get 0 0.165 which is nothing but 1 by 6 that means weight on mass by weight on earth weight of the object in the moon and weight of an object of the same object on the earth ratio of that is 1 by 6 it means weight of an object on the moon is 1 by 6 times weight of an object on the earth and Remember, the mass of an object, whether it is on the moon or on the earth, 
it is the same. So, we understand from here, the mass of an object is a constant whether it is in any planet, whereas the weight of the same object changes. And when you compare on the moon and on the earth itself, we have a ratio of 1 by 6. Now let us see the comparison between mass and weight. Having understood the concepts of weight and mass, so we will conclude from what we understood from the discussions on mass and weight that mass is a quantity of matter contained in it. It's a quantity of matter. That is the reason why it does not change. Whereas weight is, it's a force with which it is attracted to the center of the earth. If it is put on the moon, it is to the center of the moon. It depends on where it is located. In case of earth, it is attracted to center of earth. SI unit for mass is kg. SI unit for weight is Newton because it is a force represented as capital N. And mass is constant wherever it is, whichever planet it is on. Whereas the weight changes with location. Why? Since G changes with location. The force is weight is m into g. When g changes, weight also changes. Mass can never become zero. There is no zero mass concept. That means there is no quantity. Whereas weight can become zero. When at center of earth, we know that g is 0. When g is 0, force being mg, when g is 0, weight being mg, weight also becomes 0. And weight changes with location because g changes with location. We know the examples. If you take the examples, g is 9.8 meter per second square on earth, whereas g is 1.63 meter per second square on moon. This tells us that G changes, so weight changes. So this is the comparison between weight and mass.